Hey, what's up devs? This is Rob Sumoniz, welcome back to AppDev channel. In today's episode, we're gonna create an animate menu chugger button using just simple tools like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And from scratch, step by step. Basically, we have this hamburger create using markup, just three spans. Then we give it a position and column. And for animation, you're gonna use CSS in JavaScript. So let's code it. And stick to the end of it because by doing that, we will learn how to build it by yourself. You can add it to your portfolio or use that on your website. Let's get started. All right, start really from the beginning. We have our structure files, our index, the style.css in the apple.js, okay? Coming to our boilerplate, we have our title. Okay, here in the title, let's see the name of our project. Animated menu, chuggle, button, okay. Underneath this, we also need a link, connect our markup to our CSS, all right. And close to the closing body tag, we also need a script, point to external JavaScript file, okay. So yeah, our boilerplate is done. Let's move to the HTML. Moving into our HTML, in here is going to be quite simple. Okay, we have our main div toggle, and we need in here three spans. Okay, let me organize this one. All right, we have the code, but we don't see anything. Let me click here and see what we have so far. As you can figure out, nothing visible. All right, we are in the realm of CSS where part of the mesh could happen, okay? Let's start with our CSS reset, get rid of margin and padding, and for box sizing, we want that to be both box. Let's grab now the body, and here in the body, we want to put everything in the center and also give a grayish color. So the layout here is going to be flex, just like content along the main axis is going to be center, along the cross axis also center, okay. Let's give a mean height of 100 VH. So our element is gonna be right in the middle or toggle. And for the background, let's pick a grayish color, okay. It's gonna be this one, A9, AC, AF. And yeah, looks good. Going from the top to the bottom, okay. Now we're gonna grab the toggle div, okay, our main div. And we're gonna start out with its position, okay? It's gonna be relative because you're gonna have some absolute stuff in it, all right? Let's give a width and also a height of 70 pixels. As you can see, we have a grayish background and we want that to be white, all right? And that little hamburgers are gonna be blue, okay? So background is gonna be white Let's make the corners a little bit uh, round using other radius. But before that, box shadow, 0, 10, 20 pixels. And for the color, it's going to be black. And now, body radius, 10 pixels, make the corners round. For the layout, also display flex. We want everything right in the middle, okay? Just like content center. And align height is also center. And the cursor, we want that to be a pointer, so the user knows that he can click on it, okay? Now we can create inside of this one those buggers effect, okay? Let's grab our spam, and let me give some more space in here, okay? The position is going to be absolute, of course. The width is going to be 40. All of them are gonna share this, okay? The height for now, four pixels. And let's give it a bluish color, all right? Let's make the corners a little round. They are very square, okay? Let's fix that with body radius of four pixels. As you can see, it looks nice. And let's give a transition of 0.5 seconds, okay? We have the three spans here, but they are on the top of each other. Okay, let's change that with toggle span nth child one. Okay, let's put that to right on the top. 
So transform, translate your y direction. Let's say minus 15 pixels. Okay, it's right on the top. And let's also make it smaller with just 25 pixels. As you can see, we should bring it to the left. So let's push it to the left with left 15 pixels. And yeah, looks good. And now we want to create the third one, the small thing. Okay, so F type 2. And for the position here, 15 pixels. And for the width, it's going to be just 15 pixels. And yeah, it's done. JavaScript, where the magic happens, okay? And now let's get reference to our toggle, okay? Document query select toggle. Why? Because we want to manipulate that. And let's save that into a variable, menu, toggle, okay? So now we have powers, we can manipulate that. And the first thing we're going to do is grab that one. Let's add event list on click. And when this click happens, we want to run this error function. And what this error function is going to do? Menu toggle dot class list toggle activate, okay? Active and no active. Showing is better than explaining, right? So let me show you here. When we click on this one, we have the active. I click again, no active. Click active and no active. Yeah, I know you got the idea. So let's keep moving. Our idea, as you saw in the beginning, is make it become a X, okay? So let's grab the toggle.active and child tree and we want that to move 60 pixels, okay? The one in the middle, this one, as you can see. Let me give some more space. Just this line, okay? As you can see, we have a little issue here because we can still see it. So let's go up here and try to solve this problem. Let's go to the toggle and overflow, hidden. Now we click, it still moves, but we don't see it anymore. Okay, when this is active, okay, we want now do a couple of change with the first line. In this case, we wanna do three things with this one, okay? So toggle.active and let me give more real space here, so you can see. Okay, I want to make it bigger. Okay, done. As you can see, every time we click, it's bigger. And we also want to bring it down. So transform translate zero pixels. Let me click here. It's bigger and it comes down to the mirror. Okay. And the third thing I should be doing here is rotate that. Okay, giving the shape of a X. So rotate, let's say 45 degrees. Now I click, it, it comes down and rotate at the same time, as you can see. And yeah, looks good. Okay, we're almost done. So let's grab our nth child, our second one, when this is active, okay? And let's make a couple of changes. As you can see right now, uh, it's acting like the first child. So let's change this degree. It's gonna be 115, or oh, 315, okay? And yeah, as you can see, we click on it and it becomes a X. I guess it's optional, but we can make it better, okay? We can apply some delay here. Transition delay 0 0.125 seconds on the first child. And on the second one, 0 0.25. As you can see, in my opinion, it's much better now. Take a look at this. We click here and yeah. Okay guys, that's all for today. I really hope you like it. If you like it, please smash that like button and also subscribe for more like this one. Bye bye.